How can you make a fish grow lungs and breathe through its nose on land? Actually, the method is not complicated. You cover the fish with moist rice straw to keep the surface of its body wet. However, the fish struggles violently and thrashes non-stop and unexpectedly dies from a sudden heart attack caused by extreme stress. So you think of Jesus on the cross and fix the live fish onto a wooden board, which does restrict the fish's movement. Unfortunately, before it can even begin to grow lungs, the fish gives up and bites its tongue to death, and the core problem is still not solved. Then you come up with another idea. You thread a rope through the fish's mouth and nostrils, cleverly bending its body to the right into a bow shape while firmly tying the other end to the tail. You place the tied fish into water for two hours. At the moment you lift it out, a miracle happens. The live fish leaves the water and does not die. So what is the truth behind this? It turns out that this unique bow-shaped binding effectively suppresses violent struggling, slows down the rate of oxygen consumption inside the body, and allows the fish's mouth and gills to naturally remain open, enabling it to breathe air directly. Congratulations, you have invented the gong fish technique. It allows fish to survive out of water for up to half a month and greatly facilitates long-distance transportation and storage.